Good evening, tubers. It is Friday the 5th, I believe, of uh, April. And I wanted to do a quick update on what, uh, how the plans are shaping up for the, the greenhouse. Daniel, my son, DP Finster, has been putting uh, updates together, and I'm not going to, um, uh, you know, steal his thunder. Uh, he's been he's done a lot of this stuff in here. He's he's planted most of the stuff that's in the greenhouse that's planted right now. Uh, but I did want to show you our thoughts anyway on what we're doing. We are putting five foot by five foot beds through here. Uh, I know that flies in the face of the four foot, um, you know, square foot garden um, method. And um, if you watch my videos, um, and Bobby so eloquently puts it time and time again that I try and reinvent the wheel. Well, I do. I make a lot of mistakes. But that's what uh, this is kind of all about. You know what? You don't have to be perfect. Uh, to to grow food and if I can do it trust me anybody can I'm an uh, I'm an architect for uh, uh, FedEx services I I actually um, design computer solutions for FedEx all over the world um, so I, I have a lot of book smarts with uh, technology but when it came to gardening I've had to go on what my grandmother taught me and my mother father and uh, what I've learned on my own uh, out here and a lot of this is just trial and error. So anyway, that being said, this is all going to be five foot garden, um, raised gardens over here. Um, Daniel's already been bagging up um, tomatoes uh, in grow bags. They're gonna run the length, probably the length, all the way down through there, um, followed by some cucumbers. We got some um, growing over there on that table. We've got some uh, Diva and Sumter Cute cucumbers and I think some straight eights a uh, lot of big beef tomatoes that are going to go in here and that's why I wanted to show you what we're doing this is going to be my um, hydroponic um, tomato system and um, I'm going to probably run those uh, I don't know how far down it depends on how far that pump will pump but I, um, I'll, I'll be giving you updates on this as we go uh, but anyway, I'm also going to put the cracky beds against that wall, running the length of that wall. Um, I don't know how far I'll go down there, uh, but I am already, all that lumber down there, uh, that's for these cracky beds and uh, for my uh, stove, double barrel stove room that will go right there. Anyway, those are the plans as uh, we have it today. And I know I hate walking with um, this camera, um, so I'll try to make this as quick as possible. These are the beds, five foot by five foot. Uh, down in that first bed is going to be herbs, and uh, the second bed I think we have some squash and zucchini in there. This has got some cantaloupe in it. This one is. Uh, this one has nothing in it yet. We just started filling it. Uh, I've got to build the rest. And there's going to be 13. I think I told you 14. I wind up with 13 5x5 five five beds down through there. Anyway, that is the update as of Friday, April 5th. God bless you. Go play in some dirt. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, and, and please, uh, go out and see DP Finster 09 Go out and see it, because he's the one that's going to give you the main updates on this, uh, this greenhouse. Um, and he's really excited about what he's doing. And uh, go visit him at DP Finster 09 His name's Daniel. He's 15 years old, and I wish I, did, I knew what that kid knows when I was 15. God bless. Go plant some dirt.